In one of our recent unboxings, we showed you a pair of brand new AMD CPUs, the 9574S. Those are with SMT disabled, right? Correct. We now have a platform for those CPUs from Tyann. Now this is a uh, beefy box, I guess for a beefy box inside, yeah? I would hope so, otherwise it's just a box of boxes. So we've got a 24 bay NVMe server, we hope, inside here. And uh, we're gonna unbox that for you today and then we'll eventually get to getting the CPUs in, getting drives inserted and doing something really fun and productive with this box. But for now, we just wanna get it out and take a look at it. Uh, you said after the last unboxing that you were evoking my knife abilities because... Uh, you were slicing into yourself. Worse well, than I didn't slice into myself, it was into the box. Oh, now you're slicing into me. It happens. But using your logic, I didn't cut you, so it's all good. Fair point. Oh. And I get revoked with the box cutter? Yes, we have a lot of stuff inside, hopefully all two right. heat sinks. Yeah, so anytime we open these things, we're, we're always happy to see when these boxes are a little bit weighty, that means the heat sinks are inside. If they're not, they take it on it's the not a huge deal, but we have to source them eventually. And do we get uh, GPU cables or anything fun? I don't know if you asked for them. Those are really floppy rails. <laughs> Perfect. Well, events fix that in post. How are we going to get this out? I don't know. If we get it up on the edge of the box. Yes, we swear, we're strong. It's yeah, just lifted. It. It's the wrong <laughs> weight. Try not to have it roll away. All right, I got it. Take the box. All right. That's okay. got the plastic on it. That's oh a, God, uh, you're moving out of frame. a good sign. Yeah, so much movie magic, Vince. All right, so we've heaved this thing out of the box, which is, uh, it just occurred to me, this is an adjustable table. We could have lowered that to make it easier to get out of the box. Yeah, it still has some room. <laughs> We're still learning how to make a proper unboxing video clearly. I can't even see the front of this thing. It's so long now. I assume there's 24 NVMe drives yes, up front. I did confirm there are 24. Are all the caddies in there too? Yes. Okay. If they're trayless. The trayless? They're not tra <laughs> the trayless caddies? No, screwless caddies. Yeah, they've got that little swing arm. And actually, do that in slow mo for the camera. Well, you don't have to make a dumb oh. noise. But this is really, really nice. I know most people don't think about it because you load it once or your, your system integrator does it or whoever, and then you put the thing in the rack and you don't care. But for us, when we're swapping drives, that takes a job of loading 26 drives with two to four screws each. I usually go for one screw. Doing it the right way yeah. takes many, many, many minutes. This takes four. Seconds. Four minutes. Per drive? No, in total. Oh, All right, okay. anyway, uh, we've got uh, plastic on top, so it's nice and fresh. Why don't we take the uh, lid off and see what's inside? I've got two thumb screws on the back. I haven't used these before. Yeah, those are new. Those locking bits up front. Oh, that's just for the little portal? Is that a sunroof? Yeah, it's a sunroof. How are we gonna? Not sure. <laughs> I already did those. Is there a set screw on this side? All right, so we're having fun with Tyann's innovative new lid design that we've never seen before. And there it, it does have a sunroof. <laughs> okay, so, so how do we slide this off the back? I don't know, but let's pretend like we know what we're doing and talk about what we can see from the sunroof. We can see the fans and we can see the NVMe bays. How do you remove those fans? Well, for normal replaceable ones, they're usually not held in with little rubber spacers. They're replaceable, but it's not the type of thing you're going to... Uh, <laughs> Fuck a fino. <laughs> Usually the rubber spacer ones are the ones where you have to like re-individually slot them all in. So it has uh, six high power hot swap fans. Something like that. Yes. And inside we can see we've got cabling for all those NVMe drives in the, uh, the back plane there, which is nice. And now we're on to removing the, oh, let's get a little intrusion sensor there. And now we're on to removing the lid like true professionals. Okay, there's no screws on this. Do you feel any screws on that side? They totally really know, know what they're doing. Yeah. No, there's no set. Unless okay, here. One. Get some like hand friction on that side. Let's see if we just slide this lid off. 
Okay, there we go. And just like that, we remove the lid we like any have, normal person. We could have done it without person. removing the sunroof. Yeah, but it was cooler. And actually, it's kind of interesting. They made that serviceable just for the fans, essentially, right? Yeah. Uh, although, I suppose in this type of setup, if you had um, GPUs, you may not want to disrupt the airflow to the GPUs for that sort of operation, but... Well, and actually, that's a good point. So this is the TN85 chassis, which they use in a number of systems. And then the motherboard is the same that they use across a number of systems, too. This configuration is a storage-heavy config with the 24 NVMe drives. They also have one that's a GPU-heavy configuration that only has eight drives in the front, but more uh, risers and slots in the back for the GPUs. So now you've, you've pulled out the, uh, the airflow cover. You can see we've got our twin uh, AMD slots, right? Yeah. Let's try to see how many slots I have to work with for this project that's upcoming. It's always exciting to see what we think it is versus what it is. Well, what what is actually it? is. Okay. Okay, so it's a uh, dual proc setup, SP5 socket. Uh, we have uh, 12 DIMM uh, per socket, 24 total. Do we actually have the DRAM to put in here? Uh, yes, I still have another tie-in platform. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And uh, we've got all sorts of cabling back here. So this is all of our NVMe drives coming together. What does this look like to you? The first part of that stands out is they don't use any PCI switching. So with that in mind, you're getting direct access. Uh, the CPUs are getting direct access to all 24 uh, NVMe bays. And we have seen certain solutions where instead of using a ton of wires, they'll go with uh, 16 or 32 lanes going to the uh, back plane, similar to what Dell leverages. Uh, on their right. R760. And the trade-off obviously is, do you want more I.O. going to the drives themselves or to PCA slots? This one gives you its four usable slots. Well, this platform is designed to leverage um, full I.O. bandwidth to the uh, 24 NVMe drives in the front. They also have a design that uh, leverages the same motherboard, but eight NVMe devices up front and did, uh, support for four GPUs in the rear. So it depends on what setup you're uh, trying to go for. Yeah, and it just goes to show that where Tyan and others will use the same chassis and motherboard and then just tune the lanes for whatever it is they're trying to optimize for in terms of workloads. Like Kevin said, if you want four GPUs in there, they've got a separate build that uses most of the same components, just different risers in the back, and then, of course, as he said, support for fewer drives up front. In this platform, we're going to drop the two AMD processors in here. You're going to harvest RAM from another poor Tyan that'll now be uh, RAMless. Uh, what else is what else do you intend to, to do to this platform? Reel up the front with a lot of QLC flash and probably put a little bit in the back and do some fun tests. So we do still have what two PCIe slots open or no? Well, one, it's two, four total, but uh, three, four, for yeah. the U.2 uh, to Edge card adapters, those need a full height slot. So we're going to use the GPU banks for that, and then uh, maybe a NIC or something in the middle. All right, so we're going to get to work playing with this system. We'll uh, do some more videos loading it up and, and more social posts about what we're doing. And of course, as always, we're talking about these projects on our Discord. So if you want real-time, blow-by-blow coverage of what we're doing... Or not doing, because we broke it. That too. Check out the Discord. I'll link to that in the description. For now, this is the tie-in platform. We're really excited about it. And we're tying the videos together with the other AMD unboxing and finally getting this solution together and ready for the next project. Thanks for tuning in.